guys, it's Sam. So today we're gonna be doing a super fun bathroom makeover. So I'm gonna be doing a bathroom refresh and I've just not been loving it. I just keep on going in and I'm like, I just, there's just something not vibing in here. It just looks cluttered and messy and I don't love the colors. So I wanted to do a little makeover for you guys. Just a nice refresh. I'm not doing anything structural. So no changing of floors, no changing of cabinets, nothing like that. It's just literally decor. So just things that you can easily pick up or order online and just give yourself a nice little just glow up without having to do actual anything, you know, structural, knocking anything out or anything like that. So if you are on a budget and you don't have a whole bunch of money, thousands of dollars to spend on a bathroom makeover, then these are some fun little easy ways to kind of spruce up your bathroom and make it look very zen and spa-like and it's very neutral colored. So if you are someone who has a hubby who isn't a huge fan of pinks or anything very colorful, this is definitely the makeover or refresh for you because it's super neutral. So I do get a lot of comments like that that say like, oh my gosh, I love your stuff and my husband would never let me. So I wanted to start incorporating more kind of neutral, friendly options for you guys who do have husbands like that. Luckily, Jay doesn't care, but I do realize that there are men out there that do care. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys that I possibly can. A lot of the stuff I know you can find online. Some of the stuff I found at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, so I'm not gonna be able to link that, but I'll try and find similar items for you guys as well. But I'm so excited for you guys to see. I love how it turned out. It's so pretty. It's very, very zen. It's very spa-like. I love it. It feels really peaceful in here. So let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more of these type of videos. Please share if you guys did like this or found it helpful or fun. Um, sharing is caring. You can share on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever it is that you like to spend your time. And you can always tag me on Instagram as well. It's at Sam. Sherman I would really appreciate that if you do decide to um, share or if you're watching this video and you want to tag me and just say hi I would love that and I always reshare whenever anyone tags me on my stories so if you want to be featured then you can always do that too but thank you guys I love you let's go ahead and get started okay guys so when you walk in at the moment this is what our bathroom looks like so this is the artwork that I have over here stuff I had forever. This is what the bath looks like. So I've got that rug, but do you see there's a stain? I cannot get the stain off. I'm washing that rug at the moment, but I have this over here. This is currently what the, um, the countertop looks like. So, you know, it's like not the cutest thing ever. It's really great for storing your stuff, but not the prettiest thing to look at. And then over in this section, we've got our little towel rack and um, picture. That's just plain. Um, I'm hanging this at the moment. I'm torn between these two, so I'll, I'm just gonna try and decide what one I want. Um, but this is the one I originally got, but then I saw the other one and I was like, oh, I really like the other one. So we're just gonna see, I'm gonna have to play with them. But that's our shower behind there. Um, and then this looks like this and then in here this is what our actual toilet room looks like that's everything that is the before of our bathroom so I have gotten this shower curtain I forgot to show you this this was just from Target it's just by made by design and it was like 17 bucks. So I'm gonna put this up here so I can actually hang a curtain, um, a shower curtain up here. I just don't like looking at these showers. They're not very cute. You can see everything that's in there. It's just like not, it's not floating my boat. So we're just gonna make it look a little cuter over here. So yes, there is the before. So Jay is gonna start on the knobs because I got new knobs. I actually cleaned and then um, somehow it already looks messy. I swept and mopped this morning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum again real quick. I don't have to mop, but there's like little bits all over the place, probably from the dogs. Um, so I'm gonna vacuum, and then I'm gonna start clearing off the counters and cleaning it and all that good stuff.
shaky. Yeah, that okay. I can shake off a little bit. It's nice. I, I, quite like it I think I kind of like the knob too. Yeah, that looks pretty. It looks cleaner. Yeah, I think it looks better. I can, I mean, I can still have like. Yeah. That. Yeah. It's like it kind of keeps it from being all weird. Weird. Yeah. Okay guys, it is finished. I've been working on it. We've got it all sorted out, so I'm just gonna give you the final reveal. So when you come in through the bedroom, this is what you see. So now the first thing you see is that nice big piece of artwork, which I love hanging it up high. I feel like it really makes the room look super tall and grand, and it's such a fun picture. I just love it. I absolutely love artwork like that, where it's real simple and kind of just like a little bit modern. Um, so then, over here, I've left the same curtains, and those pictures were up before, but I think they look really pretty with like the little pops of greenery. Okay, so if you guys watched my TJ Maxx, Target, World Market haul, you will have seen all of these pieces, but this is how I've styled them. And I'm gonna link everything that I possibly can down below. Those two plants there were from Target, so I'm pretty sure I can link those. Um, but I'll, I'll link whatever I can. So yes, that is what this whole entire bath area looks like. And honestly, I never use the bath, you guys. <laughs> but Lily does love it. She uses it way more than I do. So then I've got double rugs. This one's really cute, but it's not the softest to get out of the bath and it's not the most absorbent. So I put like a little plain white one. This one was from um, Home Goods, and so was this one, so I probably cannot link those ones. And then that basket, don't even ask me where I got that. I cannot remember. I've had it for a super long time. I probably got it at a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. And then over here, in this little corner right here, we've got a cute little pl plant pot, which is probably a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx find. And then this I actually got for Mother's Day last year. It's so pretty, and the kids and Jay got it for me, and I think that's from Target. And then there's a closer look at those plants really really cute i love them i like the little white base and then i just put that little bamboo organizer and i put some bath salts from world market and some ginger and jasmine bath fizzers in there and i love how it has like all of the bamboo tops and then whenever i use those up i can just reuse the um, canisters for you know whatever else i want to use it for then i put another little plant in there and then We've got that plant over in that corner. And then the towel, I love, it's super neutral. I love it. I just feel like it looks very hotelish. You know, I don't know, I always, that kind of reminds me of like being in a hotel. Um, and that was also from Home, yeah, Home Goods. Home Goods and Home Goods. So that's that. And then if you turn around behind you, this is what the actual like toilet room looks like. I don't know what, what are these supposed to be called? I just call it a toilet room. I don't know what else it's called, but it's a room and there's a toilet in it. So that's what that looks like. This is probably a Marshalls TJ Maxx. This I just recently got, this hanging faux plant. That's from West Elm. And it's just like a little branch that you can just stick in a pot. The big face is from Target from years ago. Shelf is a recent purchase from Target. I can probably link that. That S&J is probably like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls find. I thrifted this peacock chair, I found it on Marketplace. That's a real aloe plant, so I don't know how long it'll actually last in here. I might have to move it out until I find something else that's fake. 
Um, and then that little basket right there is great for storing tampons. I know, super awesome to find out that's what it's for. But hey, people have periods. Um, and then that's a little faux plant that I got from TJ Maxx. And then that is from Walmart. I actually have a new one coming with a bamboo top that like hides everything that's in it and a matching bamboo and white toilet brush holder. So that's coming soon, but it's gonna take a little bit longer than I expected because Amazon Prime is not as prime as it used to be. And then over here, I have another jute rug. This was from TJ Maxx. I love it, super cute. I just feel like it looks really natural in here. And then those knobs are so cute. I love how they turned out. Aren't they fun? I love them. I just think they're such a fun design and they kind of just add a little extra something to the cabinets here. I just love it. It's so much better than the little silver knobs that just came standard with the house. Um, so I think that's kind of fun. It gives it kind of just a fun vibe. It's a little bit more me. Um, and then the countertop looks like this. So it's super nice and simple now. It's very cohesive on both sides. Um, so yeah, now it's even. I have to have everything even on both sides. I just cannot do it any other way. It just really, irks me. So now we've got a little towel, same exact towel from Home Goods. That cute little plant. And then our little canisters. I forgot to pick Q-tips up, of all things. I was at Target and I forgot to pick up my Q-tips. Super annoying. So I need to like get more so that actually looks full. That'll look a lot better when it's full. And then that's that candle that I got from Target. Really, really cute. I love how like just natural and simple it is and then this is what i did with my little tray this whole thing i got from home goods so i just put our soap in the middle so that we can both use it and then our toothpaste and then our toothbrushes over there and then i just put the skincare that i use every single day without fail and then i'm gonna have an, another area probably in the cupboard where i have like all my extra stuff for like weekly things but this is my every single day every single night, no matter what. So I will just give you a little rundown. This is my Bioderma Sensibio H2O. That's what I remove my eye makeup with. And then this green clean is what I remove my face makeup with, um, like foundation and stuff, which I honestly don't use very much because I haven't been wearing much makeup to be honest, but hey, it's awesome when you do. And then this is the Aloe and Lemongrass Wash Your Face by Plant Apothec apothecary apothecary i always say that wrong so that is my favorite cleanser it's super awesome super gentle i love the aloe really great if you have um acne prone skin this is my body oil that i use on a daily basis i love it it smells super yummy and then this is the serum that i have been using every day it's the skin ceuticals c c e ferulic i got it in pr so i've been trying that out and i actually really love it because it absorbs really, really quickly into the skin. It kind of stinks, but it's awesome. Then my Obashi Cleanse Derm MD. That's my acne treatment that I use every single day. My Resting Beach Face from Every Every Day for Everybody. This is my SPF that I use every single day. It's a serum, so it's great if you have oily, acne-prone skin because it doesn't break you out. I can use it every day without having any problems. This is my eye cream that I'm currently using at the moment. This is the Universal C Eye Perfector from Beauty Stat. They just came out with it. It's got CBD and um, cannabis sativa flower. It's amazing, you guys. I absolutely love this eye cream. And I put it on with this cute little like silver doodad. It's so cooling and really nice. It kind of massages under your eye. So that's what I use every single night and every single morning. And then these are the St. Moritz Radiant Glow. They're just like little tan boosting facial serum drops that you can mix in with your moisturizers. So I love those. And then my night cream is the CEO Sunday Riley cream. So that is what, that's literally like all I've gotten down to. That is my every single day, every single morning routine. And then of course I have other things that I try out because I do get a lot of stuff in PR, but this is the stuff that I use hands down no matter what, I love it. Then I've got some cotton pads in this little canister over here. And then over there, I just have this cute little plant and then another towel. And then this I actually got from Hobby Lobby. And they had a ton of other ones and now I kind of wish I had got more, but I absolutely love this. So, so cute and it was not very expensive whatsoever. And then over here in this little corner 
is a beautiful picture I got from Vera shop. It's a naked lady. It's so fitting for the bathroom. And then this is from Amazon. Um, it's just like a nice towel rack. And then those are those big towels that I got from Home Goods as well. And I love them. They just look super chic and clean and very hotelish. And then is that's just a pantry or you know what I mean, storage closet. That's my closet, like my big closet. And then over here, I got this rod from Target and I'm just hiding our actual built-in shower, which I do not like the look of, with this gorgeous shower curtain that I got from World Market. It's so cute, it has these little pom-poms. And they're just like in a really pretty, kind of like jute color almost. They're really fun. They're just a nice natural color. And then they do have a little tassel on the bottom there. And then I have it with a really cute um, bath mat that I also got from World Market. There is my bathroom, you guys. I love it. I feel like it's such a good refresh. It was so fun to do. I love doing this kind of stuff. Little makeovers are my fave. And uh, it wasn't anything majorly structural, obviously. That was the worst was the knobs. Jay said they were kind of a pain to work with, but other than just having to remove those and put those back on, it's just a matter of changing out decor. So it, I feel like it made the bathroom look so much nicer, so much more peaceful and like zen-like, especially this picture. Oh, I love this picture so much. Also, I really need to take off the tag off of those curtains. I do, I look at them every single day and I always think I'm gonna cut those off and then I always forget to. So there is our master bathroom. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out really, really cute. It just feels really nice and calm and clean and crisp. And I love it. It's beautiful. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. And I will link whatever I can find in the description box for you guys in case you guys wanna pick up any of these items. But yeah, I actually had a lot of fun doing this. This is like, this is like, I, this is where I'm in my element, but obviously it costs a lot more money to do these type of videos because you're having to buy a bunch of stuff to like refresh your stuff. So um, yeah, but I do love doing them. They are my favorite. Like if I just had an endless budget, this is what I would be doing for every single video. But obviously until I can get like hundreds of thousands of views, which is highly unlikely, um, I can't do them that often. But when I do, I just love it. It's super duper fun. And I hope that you guys enjoy. And if you do, just share. And then maybe I will get hundreds of thousands of views on these videos and then I can do more. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.